Hey guys, what's going on? I've done a lot of like hooded eye tutorials and just eyeshadow tutorials lately, so I thought today we would do a different kind of video, which is a new makeup and makeup products that I've picked up. So I've compiled not too, too many things because I didn't want this video to be like crazy long, but I picked up a couple things that I'm really interested in. So if you're interested in seeing some of the makeup that I picked up and like makeup products that I picked up over the past, I'd say like month, go ahead and keep watching. So obviously I have nothing on my face right now. I've just washed and moisturized my face. I did use a new product that I picked up, however, but today was the first day I used it because I knew I was going to be doing this video. So I placed an order on Sephora a couple weeks ago when it came in. I picked up the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5. I have definitely used this before and I like it a lot. I don't have the receipt for this one, but I'll list all of the prices down below, but I really do like this. I think it's somewhere around like six or seven bucks. Please don't burn yourself. I picked up two of these and I'm actually using a different hyaluronic acid right now from um, my friend who works at a dermatologist's office and I like it. I'm not like crazy picky on my hyaluronic acid. I know some people are like, my hyaluronic acid has to sink into my skin and blah, 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 blah. I'm not really picky on it, but I have only really used the ordinary and then the one that I'm using right now, I can't remember the brand. So I picked this up. I uh, picked up two of them because I know I like it. And then I picked up a new product from The Ordinary. This is the Matrixel 10% Plus Hyaluronic Acid. And this is, well, I should have mentioned, hyaluronic acid provides moisture to the skin and I really like the effect that it gives my skin. So that's what the hyaluronic acid does. But the Matrixel, I think this is one of their like signature products that kind of blew them up. And this is supposed to be for wrinkles. I put this on this morning. It says to put a couple uh, drops on in the morning and at night and it's supposed to help with fine, line and fine lines and wrinkles which I clearly have a lot of right here and I definitely have like little crow's feet but I'll never get Botox there but it, because it scares me. If you didn't know Sephora recently I think Estee Lauder like bought them or something like that. I don't know like the exact details but I know Estee Lauder maybe like backed them so they could produce more and get into Sephora. That's why they're now in Sephora which is great but the hyaluronic acid was sold out like right after it was online at Sephora. I don't know why my eye is so itchy today, but the hyaluronic acid was sold out for a long time. Not a long time, it was a couple weeks, but then it was back in stock. So it might still be kind of hard to get, but I'm excited that it's in Sephora. Rant over on that. Let's move on to the next products I picked up. So I picked up um, a Kevin Aquan um, eyeshadow duo, a brown and a pink. I'm gonna be doing one of my good friend's sister's makeup for um, her wedding and I thought this would be a really nice, like the packaging, like the unit carton of these are just so beautiful in and of themselves. And then they come with a little like dust bag, which is extra, but Kevin Aquan is expensive. Oh, this isn't the eyeshadow duo. This is the blush I picked up. Let's see, what is the name of this color? Shador, but this is the color and I also picked this up because I think this would be a really pretty wedding blush. I think that it's coming off a little lighter in camera than it is in real life. Let's just swatch it. Yeah, this is such a beautiful bridal blush. Hopefully you get, yeah, you can definitely see that on camera. That is stunning and that was the lightest swatch ever and the pigment on that is just stunning so we're gonna try that out i should maybe start applying this stuff as we go let's do that let's go ahead and apply this as we go so you know i already applied the matrixel when i washed and moisturized my face so let's go ahead and do this in a good order so i can apply them as i go so we'll hold off on that blush but I also picked up the Primed Skin Developer from Kevin Aquan. This is for normal to dry skin. I picked up all this Kevin Aquan stuff on Holt Look. I think that's how you pronounce it, Holt Look. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. I have no idea what this is about. I honestly don't know too, too much about Kevin Aquan makeup, except I know everybody is like obsessed with his contour. As you can see, it's it's thicker, but it's still dripping down my finger. So it's thick, but still watery, if that makes sense. It almost looks like it would have like a silicone base to it, but I don't think that it does. Yeah, I don't see anything 
with like a silicone product in this but let's just go ahead and put it on this doesn't claim to help with like pores or anything like that so i have bigger pores i don't know if you guys can see it on camera like right here they're not huge or anything like that but i always like to kind of start pushing my it's got a weird smell kind of smells like um old lady to be honest and yeah it's definitely not filling in the pores but it does feel super hydrating so I like that and it's sinking into the skin really quickly Let's just go on this side I got this awesome Beauty and the Beast like mirror as well from a friend which is super cool I think it's great for videos I like the feel that this is leaving on my skin. It's kind of a little bit tacky, which is always nice when you're gonna use something like foundation. So, let's finish this up. I don't know if you guys can like see my skin, but it definitely has like a stick to it, which is awesome. I love that. So the next thing I picked up is this Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Lasts up to 24 hours. It's mattifying and it says it has a second skin effect. It's lightweight, non-oily texture. Yeah, basically it claims to be lightweight and full coverage. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm not sure about the color. I ordered these online at Ulta. You can't, unfortunately, at least in my Ulta's, they don't have these in store. I think it is online only. I'm pretty sure I saw that. Let's go ahead and give this a try first. It has an applicator like Marc Jacobs, like that, just that ball. It doesn't like hold product or anything like that. Actually, the color is like sinking pretty well into my hand and I have the same self tan on my hand that I have on my body. So hopefully this will work out okay. So let's go ahead and just do one side of the face. I'm not sure how much I need here. This isn't one that's gonna work if you have like a darker complexion with, with than me, which is super annoying and unfair as we all know from the whole Tarte shape tape debacle foundation whatever um catrice is kind of like that but catrice is if not obviously as big of a company as tarte and i know with those smaller brands sometimes they do that which is totally crappy and i i'll never understand it but just a heads up on that if you have a darker complexion than me i think catrice is catching on more and more i think more and more people are are liking and enjoying their products so hopefully they step their game up because everybody should be able to have a foundation color this is super lightweight just as it claimed and i'm loving how it looks on my skin right now i'll get up close so you guys can see i don't know if you guys can hear my cat and dog going at it but let me go stop that okay so getting up super close this is half of my face with the foundation half without. Do I think that this is full coverage right now? No, let's just try to build it up a little bit here. Uh, but with that said, I do feel like this is emphasizing my pores a little bit. So I just, like I said, hopefully you guys can see that. I feel like it's emphasizing, obviously this isn't blended out, but the pores right here. So if you have more pores on your face than I do, and I would not, say that I have a lot of pores on my face by any means, this might not work for you. So just keep that in mind. Or you just need a pore filling primer, which I have and I usually use right here to fill in those pores. But that just built up beautifully. Again, this is my face with nothing on. So the redness has been covered, discoloration has been covered, and it seriously does feel super lightweight and it doesn't look like it's filling in my fine lines too heavily. So let me just do the rest of my face off camera and then I'll meet you back here in a second. All right, so while I was finishing up this side, I went online and looked at my Ulta order. This is actually the second to last darkest shade. Yeah, this shade range is absolutely horrible. There's four shades. This is the second to last darkest. So shade range is horrible, but I actually really do like how this looks on my skin if you do have a lighter complexion hopefully they'll expand their shade range at some point but it feels really nice it literally dried down to the point where i do not need to 
powder this at all. I would say this is more of like a medium coverage, but it could definitely be built up. Again, if you have more pores all over your face, use a pore minimizing primer with this. I'd be curious to know if any of you have tried this and you do have more pores than me, what it looked like on you, but yeah, I like it. I'm wondering um, how it's going to sink after a while into my fine lines because I just had a chemical peel. I'm still peeling a little bit on this side of my face and usually when I have a chemical peel, nothing looks dry on my skin and hopefully you guys can see it does look a little dry on the tip of my nose there. So curious to know, but it does feel so light like I don't have any foundation on. So I didn't pick up a new concealer, so I'm just going to quickly go in with the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in Blondie with just a little bit of Tarte Medium Shape Tape. And I'll do that off camera because you guys have seen this a million times. All right, so I put on my concealer. I also put on my eyebrows, obviously. This one got a little out of control and it's pretty fluffy. And then I put on a little bronzer because I don't have anything new of those products. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I completely forgot. I was going to try to use a lot of these brushes. I picked up this brush set from Tarte. It came in this little package here. And there's one more brush I must have already tried to use. Let me see where he is. There he is. Okay, so came with these four brushes. I got this again on Hope Look. This was like 20 bucks or something like that. Again, I'm gonna put all these prices below, but I did wanna to try to use some of these brushes. So let's incorporate these now. So I picked up two new blushes. Obviously, you guys saw earlier the Kevin Aquan, which I do wanna try. So we're just gonna layer on two blushes today. I picked up that Kevin Aquan blush that we talked about. And I think that was like 10 bucks. And then I also picked up this color wheel from Tarte, again, from Holt Look. I've been like obsessed with Holt Look lately. And it just comes with a lot of the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes, which are my absolute favorites. So let's first try the Kevin Aquan blush. And I'm gonna go in, let's see, that's a little too dense. I'm gonna go in with this Tarte blush brush yeah that should be fine normally I like a little bit of a more like uh, a, a less dense rather blush brush but let's just try it oh god that is so pretty that is literally the perfect bride blush I think this would work on lots of skin tones from dark to medium to light. Wow, that's really pretty. I love that. I actually do like this this brush because you can really um, pinpoint where you want the blush to be, you know, laid down. So that's really pretty. Let's go ahead and just do the other side quickly. I'm literally dipping into the pan as light as I possibly can because it's so pigmented. This is more of like a, a cool pink. So if you like more like rosy or like orangey peachy blushes, this one won't be for you. But that applied so nicely. So let's take, and I don't want to ruin this with, not ruin it, but I like kind of don't want to apply another color over it because I just really like how this looks. So. We'll save the Amazonian clay. You guys know how these apply. I use these all the time on my channel. So I just basically added to the collection. I thought this would be really, really nice for traveling. So I picked up a couple new highlights. I picked up the Milani Strobe Light. I picked up Afterglow, which I've already used. This is more of like the pinky toned highlight. And then I also picked up more of a golden shade. Let me open it. This is Day Glow. I thought these applied beautifully. They are so nice, they're creamy, and the pigment is wonderful. Let me just swatch them for you. So Day Glow is a little more gold, and <laughs> Afterglow? Afterglow is a little more pink. And then I also picked up um, the Becca Opal highlight. You guys all know about this stuff. I haven't used this in so long, so I thought I would pick up a new one. This is just kind of like a champagne. Oh no, it's the cream. I accidentally picked up a cream one. Dang it. Oh well, whatever. I'm not gonna use it today then because I've already applied 
some powders on my face, but that's opal. I've actually never used this, so maybe this is a good thing because I, if you guys saw my last Wet n Wild video, I have a very hard time with cream highlights. They just don't wanna work for me, so maybe that'll somehow magically make me be able to cream highlight. But let's go ahead and just spray our face a little bit. I like to do this before I highlight. This is just the Smashbox Primer Water right into my mouth. I don't know why that stuff smells so much like Windex to me, but it does. So let's go ahead, since I've already used Afterglow, let's go in with Day Glow, the more gold toned. And hopefully this won't be too dark for me, but I don't think it will. And I'm just gonna use this side of that same blush brush I was using. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah, you can definitely see that on camera. I do think that these do emphasize texture a little bit, but that doesn't really bother me. But you definitely just need a light hand with this. This brush that I'm using might even be a little too dense. It's okay though. I always just go ahead and take the beauty blender that I use and then I just kinda tap over to make sure that it looks blended into the skin. And just an update on this foundation, it doesn't seem to be intensifying that wrinkle that I get right here, so that is great news if they could just extend their shade range. Love that. So yeah, not too many more products here. Let's see, do I even have any more products? Is that the end? Yeah, that's the end except for the eyeshadow, which we're gonna use, which is called Duo 211 from, again, Kevin Aquan. The packaging, I don't know, I think I already showed you with the blush, but really pretty, just classy. And here are the colors. Again, like I said, I just thought this would be perfect tones for bridal makeup. So I'm just gonna go in and do something really simple. The brushes that I picked up from Tarte aren't really too great for eyeshadow. I mean, this could be like an all over. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a, what do I want? A flat brush, I guess, to start. I need my color switch because I need to wash brushes. So I don't know if I can get away with just using these two shadows, but I did prime my lids with the concealer I was using. So let's just go ahead and see how this applies. I'll get up a little bit closer. So this is the pink. Yeah, that's pretty. Without a base for a light pink shadow, that is going on very nicely. Just a sheer nice wash of pink. This is a MAC 224. You just blend that out. Yeah, that took all but two seconds. That's nice, just a very sheer wash. I don't even know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's pretty. And light pinks like this are hard to get open. Oh. Light pinks like this are not very easy to get like an opaque wash on your eye. And as you guys know, I don't have any like colored primer on my lid, just my concealer. It almost starts to just look a little more like flesh tone after you apply it. So now I'm gonna go in with the darker color, the brown, and it's a it's definitely a cool brown. And cool browns can sometimes be hard to work with because I feel like they get muddy pretty fast. So let's just apply this on the outer corner. I'm, I'm barely, barely dipping. I'm just gonna keep this tight to the outer third. And I'll just blend that outer corner. This is an LA Girl 202. All right, so I definitely think these colors play really, really nice together. It's definitely more of like a natural shadow type of look. Like I said, I think this will be really, really nice to incorporate into some bridal looks. I'm not gonna take too much time on it, but you guys get the idea. These are definitely cool tones, and sometimes I have a hard time with cool tones. It's just hard for me to 
to make them work sometimes but this actually worked really well in this brown but obviously I'm just applying the brown with a cool toned pink but it's not looking muddy it's almost like a it looks kind of purple the only thing is I feel like the more I blend the brown the more it just kind of like disappears and I'm just gonna pop that pink right here I feel like the eyeshadow does not want to sit in this outer corner right here so I'm going to quickly throw on some mascara I didn't pick up any new mascaras I do want to pick up the L'Oreal X fiber mascara but I can't find that anywhere I've gone to a couple CVS's and I can't find it anywhere even though it says it's in stock online which is weird I did pick up one more thing that I wanted to show you guys the essence eyeliner pen looks like this it's just a very very thin eyeliner you guys can see you can get a really thin line. I'm not gonna apply any eyeliner today. I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some mascara, but I did wanna show you guys that. So let me apply my mascara, come back on here and give you all of my thoughts on all of these things. I went ahead and used Lash Sensational for my lashes. On my lips, I have NYX Nude Beige Liner and then the Catrice Cosmetics Lips in coffee and cream I love this lipstick it's so hydrating like it looks like I have gloss on but it's literally only a lipstick I absolutely love this again the shade range for this is just like super bright this is like the only neutral I wish they'd come out with more shades for that as well so hopefully they'll continue to gain some popularity and then they can come out with lots of shade ranges for us but this is everything I wanted to use this lipstick because I felt like everything was kind of like a cool look here so I went with a cool lip so let's quickly talk about the eyeshadow I really like it it's really creamy it's really easy to use I just feel like it's weird it won't apply on this outer corner here perfectly smooth so I think this would be good to incorporate with a couple more shadows I think I could have applied like a nude powder or like a nude color shadow all over my eyes before applying the pink because I can still kind of see a little bit of the veinage in my um, lid area like especially right here it looks kind of dark because those are the veins in my lids but overall I do like that so let's go ahead and quickly start from the beginning I mean obviously I'm gonna have to try these ordinary products a little bit more before I can give like an accurate accurate review on that but Hopefully the Matrixel is going to get rid of some of these wrinkles. Speaking of that, as far as the Catrice Cosmetics, still feels like I have nothing on my face. Didn't need to set anything. And you could see when I raise my brows that the wrinkle shows up. But when I let my brows go, it is like slightly indented here. But this is nothing like most foundations I wear. Most foundations I wear get so wrinkly after like I get so wrinkly and the indent gets so prominent by this time which has only been probably 20 minutes of wearing it I'm really liking this they just need to extend this shade range it's so unacceptable to only have four colors that are all in the like lighter fair skin tone colors so I do like it but I want them to come out with some new shade ranges and we'll see how it holds up through the day. As far as the highlights, I really, really like this highlight. It's still popping and usually my highlight kind of disappears after a while. So that's a really good sign. Like I said, I did wear the pinker color and I really liked how that applied, but it does a kind of enhance a little bit of texture. As far as this blush from Kevin Aquan, I'm obsessed. It's just gorgeous. It's perfect, especially for bridal makeup. I think this is going to be absolutely stunning. I already know as far as the Tarte that I like that formula and those blushes are going to be great. And I think that's going to be awesome for traveling. I like this primer a lot. We'll see how it holds up with makeup. I think my skin looks great. Who knows if that's in combination with the peel that I just had along with the Matrixel that I applied and my the moisturizer I used is CeraVe, which I already used. So I don't think that's that. As far as the brushes, I'm gonna have to play out around with them a little bit more. I do like this for blush. I didn't think I was going to, but I really do like that. It allows precise application. This was not bad for 
highlight either. It's a little dense and bigger than what I normally use, but I think it'll be fine. The opal cream highlight, I'm gonna have to play around with. I'm not a typical cream highlight type of girl, so we'll see how that goes. Again, I will list all prices below so you guys can see everything. I did wanna mention two more things that I picked up. I picked up another one of the Too Faced Pornless Waste foundations. I picked this up in Snow, which is one of their lightest. I think it's like the second to lightest color because I feel like the color that I have is which is golden beige, can be a little too dark sometimes, so I wanted something that I could wear on my more fair days when I don't have any kind of self-tanner on, so I know I like that, so I didn't need to talk about that, but I did want to talk about the Sarah Hap Lip Slip. This has gained a lot of popularity, I feel like, lately, and it looks like that. It's, it's pretty, it doesn't really show up too pink on the lips. It's pretty sheer, and it does have some gold glitter flex, if you could see that. I've been using this and for the first week I was obsessed with it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best ever because I feel like the Aquaphor I've been using kind of doesn't really have an effect on me anymore, but now I feel like this is actually drying my lips out. So I'm gonna keep using it because it was expensive. It was like 26 bucks from my med spa, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. To be determined, let me know if you guys have tried that and what you think. So. That is it as far as this like first impressions-ish video. I wanted to mention two non-makeup related things as well. If you guys have pets, I have fallen in love with this brand, Earth Bath. There are eye wipes for dogs, cats, puppies, kittens, and then there are grooming wipes. And I get these in the dog, I think I get actually both of these in the dog section. You can get them at Chrysler's, which is like a natural dog store, or like Petco, PetSmart, all of those places. And these are awesome. These do not dry out. I mean, I always obviously keep the cap on really tight, but these are so great. So the eye wipes are pretty long. I'll show you guys what they look like. And these just never dry out. I've had both of these for a long time because there's a lot. Each one is that long. And I have Persian cats and their eyes get really like gunky. And these work so well. They don't irritate my cat's eyes at all. I use them on my dog as well. He's a French Bulldog. They don't bother him at all. And then these grooming wipes, I really like these. If George ever, the dog, or I mean I could use these on the cats as well. If the dog ever steps outside in like mud, especially in Chicago, there's been a lot of salt on the ground. So every time we come inside, I wipe his feet with this and these are just awesome. They are, these are hypoallergenic. Are these hypoallergenic? Yeah, these are both hypoallergenic, which is awesome. They don't bother any of my animals and I absolutely love them. So you guys should check these out if you have animals. And then the other thing that I want to talk about is this juice. I think I've talked about this before. This is the, I don't know how to pronounce this, Suja? S-U-J-A lemon love drink. It's like 10, 15 calories per eight ounces and there's two in here. And all this has is water, lemon juice, stevia, and then ground cayenne pepper and these are so good. They're expensive, I get them at Whole Foods. I think they're like six bucks but they always go on sale for like $3.99 and I stock up because I love them. I really like this, it's really tasty and it's just like a more healthy spin on lemonade. So check these out if you haven't. I'm gonna stop talking because I think this is gonna be a very long video as it is. Let me know what you guys thought of these products. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll have a tutorial coming soon. If you're interested in seeing any more videos, please subscribe. It means the world to me and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, that helps me a lot. Let me know if you like to see these videos every so often or if you prefer just to see the tutorials. I feel like there's a lot of videos out there now on YouTube that are like, beauty people and they just like try crazy things which is really cool but sometimes I feel like there's not enough tutorials out there which is why I try to kind of push those on my channel because I think that's really helpful. So anyway, I'm gonna zip it. Thanks for hanging around and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.